Hey everybody, Bud Mormon back here again. And we're getting the bees prepared for winter. I'll turn the camera around here and we'll take a look at the beehive. All right, and as you can see, the uh, beehive sitting here. We've got two deeps and a super on for winter. And what I'm gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna put a foam box over this thing for the winter and insulate these bees and keep them warm. So I'm gonna go in and show you the box real quick. Hang on. All right, here we are back in the barn again, and we're about uh, 50 feet away from the bees, and this is a foam box that I just got done building for the bees. As you can see, it's just a bunch of foam blocks that I've taken some uh, Great Stuff Pro foam and foamed together a bunch of pieces. As you can see, it's all slabbed together, nothing complex, no screws, no nothing. I got a couple of ropes tying it together just until it hardens. And once it hardens, you won't get it apart. But that's the inside of the box. Just looks like a big freezer box. Nothing big here. It's 19 by 23. It's gonna fit right over the hive. Now I haven't put a slot in it yet for the bees, but I will do so here. Give me, a, give me about uh, a half an hour and I'll get this on the hive and I'll show you what it looks like. I'll see you in a bye-bye. All right, here we are. About 30 minutes later, the touch and foam or whatever kind of spray foam you have from the Home Depot, Lowe's, it doesn't matter. It'll, it'll glue the foam together, and the hive is completely covered uh, all the way around. I'll go around the here, all the way around the box so you can see it. Top and bottom. And these guys are going to be as warm as toast all winter long. And this is all junk, as you can see. I had laying together, and I just foamed it all together and sawed it out like one big piece of plywood. It works just fine. This is the original entrance right there. It's lined up. Bees should have no trouble getting in and out of this thing. Now, as far as the bottom is concerned, a hand out of here. You can see the bottom up underneath here. I'll probably put a piece in there. I may put some sphagnum moss in there for a moisture absorbent, like uh, Fedora Lazutin that talks about in keeping bees with a smile. And that's going to be it for winter. I uh, hope this helps you guys out saving the bees and keep them warm for the winter. I'll see you in the spring. Bye-bye.